Hey, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. I want to talk to you today about the mug press, the GK3, uh, George Knight mug press. Been around for about four decades. This particular mug press has been around for about three years. The heat and element has improved in the last three years. Also, um, the uh, heat time will uh, it'll heat up quicker. The area is better. And today we're going to press 11 ounce mugs. Condi sells two types of mugs. One type is Thailand, the other is USA, and we'll explain the differences of those. Also, we're going to um, do a full bleed mug, and we're going to do a partial, meaning just a standard image mug on the 11 ounce. And uh, within that, when we're doing that, I'm going to include showing you how to adjust the pressure so that you get a, a good contact onto the mug. So uh, we're going to start, first of all, explaining and talking about the difference of the two mugs, Thailand versus USA. This is Mug 11. We sell two different types of Mug 11. One is made in USA, the other made in Thailand. The differences, and how do you know what the difference is, is one, the bottom, the Thailand mug, has a sticker that says Thailand on it. The USA mug is molded in USA on the bottom. The inside diameters are a little different. The USA mug appears smaller and thicker in NID, and the Thailand mug seems thinner and a little larger in inside diameter. These two mugs are sublimated at a different time. The USA mug is sublimated at three and a half minutes to four minutes. The Thailand mug is sublimated at four and a half minutes to five minutes. And those are your differences. First thing we're going to talk about, one of the two mugs that we're going to do today is the standard image mug. Next we'll talk about the full bleed. Standard image mug, your image area is going to be about eight, in, eight inches in, in length and about 3.325 in height. Meaning that you're only going to come up about a quarter of an inch to the top, quarter of an inch to the bottom. So we're not going full bleed. We're going almost to the top, quarter of an inch, almost to the bottom, a quarter of an inch. So you can see the finished product. This is a standard image mug. It goes all the way around to almost to the ear and the thumb's width from the actual handle. Things you're going to need, some heat tape, pro spray, or both, one or the other. Scissors, you always want to cut your image to edge. You don't want paper overhanging. Sometimes it'll crinkle, causing um, pressure and lack of contact on the ends. So make sure you always cut your image to the edge. If you should have to adjust your pressure on your heat press, make sure you have an Allen wrench that uh, fits the mug press for your press. We're using a George Knight heat press today. So uh, what you want to do is take your, your blank mug, place your image on it using Pro Spray or heat tape. If you use Pro Spray, make sure you're just using a small amount. Apply it to the actual transfer. Sometimes rolling the image around the mug on a flat surface such as this will sometimes help adhere the image using Pro Spray. Otherwise, you can use heat tape and heat tape, both Pro Spray and heat tape are sold here at Condi and you just tape the edges almost to um, to the edge going toward the handle on both sides. Make sure you have it tightly pressed on the mug and you're ready to press. Again, you're going to press the Thailand mugs, which is mug 11 for four and a half to five minutes and you're going to press the USA mug which is mug 11 US sold here at Condi for three and a half four minutes. Okay finally we're going to talk about using uh, full bleed images on 11 ounce mugs for both USA um, mug and mug 11 from Thailand and um, we're going to start with the things you're going to need you need Pro Spray or heat tape or both. You need scissors. You want to make sure that you cut the image to the edge. 
so that uh, it's really important, especially with full bleed, that you cut the image to the edge because um, if you have overhang, a lot of times the image will especially crinkle on the end, meaning on the end of the mug here, because often, sometimes, not always, there may be a little tapering at the bottom of the mug, hard to get to. So it's a little challenging at times to get all the way to the bottom of, of the mug, uh, but your, your chances are going to be better only if you cut the image. Sometimes uh, kind of dampening the edge at the bottom line, the baseline, will sometimes help adhere the image. Pro Spray will, will work well. Uh, when I say dampen, I mean slightly just along the edge, just kind of dampen it so you get a better stick on the mug. And uh, also at the top, you'll dampen it. This is the Allen wrench in which you'll use to adjust your pressure adjust your pressure on the mug press, the GK3, uh, from George Knight's, what we use. Um, I recommend you go a little higher pressure with full bleed and the reason why, what I talked about earlier, was the, the bottom baseline being a little tapered sometimes. Uh, the mold will cause a little bit of, um, a little more crinkling, so a little more pressure, not a lot, but a little more pressure sometimes will help uh, make sure when you're doing full bleed that you know the dimensions and your dimensions are usually going to be almost four inches. I say 3.825 and the length being 8.125. Um, you can't exceed the range of the element so make sure you don't exceed the range of the element and then um, put it in the mug and press, I'm sorry, put it in the heat press and press it Thailand mug for four and a half minutes, five minutes. USA mug will press that for three and a half, four minutes. And uh, we'll get started on showing you how to put it in the press, adjust the pressure, and doing the time. First thing I want to show you on working the, the GK3 mug press from George Knight um, is adjusting the pressure. I recommend that you make the adjustments to the pressure using a dummy mug and what I call a dummy mug is just a blank mug you keep by your press. Um, we're going to use this demonstration is for 11 ounce mug so we use 11 ounce and I recommend you just slide the, the mug in there with the heat element turned off and to adjust the pressure you're just going to lower the lever making sure that your handle is positioned correctly meaning not too close to the edge of either side of the of the element because it will oftentimes too much pressure can break that uh, handle. Don't want to do that. So make sure your press is not too tight when you first clamp it. Uh, you want a good firm pressure making good contact and th again this is what, without any image or uh, protective paper in here. So the cold press with a dummy mug adjust your pressure. If you have to move your pressure at all to get good contact, this is the dial in which you'll you'll move your pressure. So um, turning that dial will tighten it or loosen the pressure. So make sure you've got a good firm contact. And uh, the only way you can move this dial is if the handle is is up. If it's uh, down or all the way back, locked in any either position, then uh, you're gonna, you're not going to be able to turn this dial. Use your Allen wrench. Also, usually. When it's hot, your Allen wrench will come in handy uh, for adjusting pressure. And that's how we'll adjust the pressure on a standard mug. And if you're pressing to the full bleed mug, you might want to use a slight bit more pressure uh, when you're doing full bleed because the conductive pad is, you know, in here when you add pressure, it's going to compress to the mug and all the little. Um, textured areas I guess along the bottom of the mug so you get good full contact. Uh, so make sure you're using protective paper for both mug 11, full bleed and standard image and uh, close your press and go for the extended time. With full bleed images you may go six minutes max but usually like I said you want to stick to the instructions on the Condi web page for both type mugs. I hope this video has helped with Sublimate and Mug 11. Any of our other items you have questions about, our products that we sell here at Condi, you can find us on Condi TV. You can also look on the Condi support page to find instructions on how to sublimate to other items. 
My name is Vicki. I'm with Condi Systems Tech Support. Thank you again for your time.